Sudani is in New York, and Al Alak, the CBI governor, is talking openly about removing the zeros. This is a first for him, somewhat. In Iraq, there is also the HCL movement. Things are moving quite quickly. Article, the employee's salary financing will launch tomorrow. It is today because that was released yesterday. They are being paid today. This is the hydrocarbon law HCL in action. Article, Kurdistan deposits nearly 100 billion dinars in the Baghdad Treasury as its non-oil revenues. I believe that if they weren't finished with HCL, they wouldn't be doing this. Announcing anything might happen at any time. According to Iraqi Dinar Newshound Intel Guru Fnul Nu, I want to provide the community of Dinar investors some assurances. There comes a point at which reason and common sense have to win out. Travel will not be required in order to convert your dinar into US dollars USD. You won't need to travel to Egypt, Syria, or Jordan. No revaluation of 0.10 will occur. The exchange rate was 3.22 to 1 dinar when oil was the sole resource. Dr. Shivibi, the leading expert, claimed publicly, that Iraq could maintain a 16 to 1 dinar rate but let's not become greedy. That is roughly correct at 4.80. Keep an eye out because the next time I have something genuinely thought-provoking planned for you, it will truly bend your mind. According to Newshound Guru Jeff, after reading five of these articles on removing the zeros, we saw one more today, for a total of six in three days. Really wonderful, the big three zero notes are discarded when zeros are removed, and smaller. Higher value currency notes take their place. Therefore, before and after the rate adjustment, the large notes and the smaller notes have the same purchasing power. To remove the zeros, they would need to fortify and raise the value of the money. This news appears to be excellent. According to Iraqi Dinar Newshound Guru Pimpi, reaction to Master Mark's post September 23, 2024 below they're not doing the very same thing they did in Kuwait, Iraq has 25,000 notes. Kuwait never overvalued its currency. They didn't have to. They're not utilizing a similar terminology, they cheapened their cash to hold it back from being taken by Iraq, they didn't need the Kuwait nation to lose their riches so they depreciated the money. When Iraq was driven out of Kuwait they pivoted and they redesignated which implies they changed the vibes of the notes. They didn't need to erase zeros, Kuwait got new notes. The categories 1T ever change. According to Newshound Guru Claire, the article, Iraq plans currency renomination amid economic challenges quote, to revalue their national currencies and ease financial transactions many nations remove zeros from their currencies. Through this procedure, the nominal value of the currency is reduced by a predetermined number of zeros, reducing inflation and increasing stability. According to Iraqi Dinar Newshound Guru Militia Man, U.S. Department of Treasury, Deputy Secretary of the Treasury has support for the Prime Minister's reform agenda and the Central Bank of Iraq. The article states that he has praised Iraq's non-oil economy, which has grown by 6%. Even though they are only getting started, they have already experienced a 6% gain. You guys are amazing. That s extremely large. According to Newshound Guru Sampson, article, taking the zeros off of the Iraqi dinar is getting attention again. Bolstering the currency or only altering its structure. According to Iraqi Dinar Intel Guru Frank26, report from troops on the ground in Iraq Firefly, the Kuwaiti Dinar is presently trading at 3.60 on Channel 1 News. They're talking about the Kuwait Dinar Frank, why the devil you understand Firefly. According to Intel Guru Rayren98, it's becoming warmer in here. Banks are glad to see the Dinar at 3.57. They claim to be only waiting for authorization. The 3.57 rate on the bank screens will be higher when we go in. While others are hoping for it today, 
my attention is mostly focused on tomorrow. Good news absolutely if IT holds true. 